Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, here from Madden247.com bringing you a high level pro tip this week. What we're going to be going over is how to manipulate the zone coverages to play um, inside position. Uh, for any type of corner routes so the trick is you see here how we have a flat or any type of out route and a corner route on the same side of the field but you only want to have two receivers on that side of the field it works with a swing you see here uh, what's going to happen is the linebacker that's playing that hook is always going to give the outside position because they're going to play inside now if you have three receivers on one side or have three routes as you see here on one side of the field the, it's not going to happen. They're not going to give up the outside leverage. You see either the corner can play it or the linebacker is going to play it if we have three uh, receivers or three routes going to one side of the field. So watching this example how the linebacker plays at outside leverage and you see it's a very scary throw. More than likely it can get picked. So like I said, you want to have two receivers or two routes, uh, whether it's the halfback swing um, or putting a tight end on a flat uh, receiver outside receiver on an out route anything like that uh, with a tight end running a corner route you're always going to get that uh, outside leverage from the linebacker here's an example again where we're putting three receivers on a route and you see how the linebacker plays over there so that's that's these are showing you the ways you don't want to do it um, so put like green on an out flat and then you want to if you want to swing you put them on the left and you see how he gives them the outside leverage and we can always hit that as long as they're not usering it and if you're running something like Jumbo Heavy where you have the two tight ends uh, running the corners, you can put actually both outside guys on flats and you can dot either side. These corner routes are unguardable uh, for man-to-man, -man, especially if your tight end has high route running. And then you see we can uh, manipulate any type of zone, whether it's cover three, cover two, or cover four. Even with three hook zones across the middle in a cover two, we can still manipulate the outside backer in the hook to give outside leverage. So you see in the previous clip that we had uh, cover three, we're still able to get to the outside. But once again, watch how if we have three routes going to the same side of the field, how that linebacker or safety is actually going to play outside leverage. And you see how it's an interception. Uh, so you definitely, once again, I just want to repeat, do not have three routes on the same side. This is a two receiver combo um, to manipulate the zone. And like I said before, it can be done out of different formations you hear. See here that we're in a balanced formation with two tight ends on either side. Put the outside receiver on an out route. But since we have three uh, routes going to one side of the field, it's not going to work. So watch how we swing the running back and put him on an out or a uh, smoke route there. And you see we can get outside leverage. So that's the main key. Once again, I cannot emphasize that enough. If you do not, it will not work. And the beauty of this is if you are running a symmetrical formation like, say, uh, the gun ace, single back, or uh, anything where it's two tight ends, two receivers, you can throw it to either side. Uh, if you have someone like an identifier on your offensive line, you can identify where the user is and throw the corner to the opposite side if you're in something um, like the single back ace. But if you're in the jumbo heavy, you can actually run uh, the tight end corners with flats on both sides. So hope y'all guys enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content anywhere in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.